Starting out our Thursday, not too bad out there. We're seeing upper 50s for most of us, 57 here in Baton Rouge. We're seeing some hitting 58 Gonzales, Morgan City low 60s, and we're hitting 62 for Homa. So we're seeing nice and mostly clear skies, allowing the heat that we saw yesterday to kind of escape, giving us a cool start to our morning, and we're going to warm up nicely throughout the day. We're going to be hitting 60s by 9 o'clock, hitting 66, 70s already by 10 o'clock and 80s by 1 p.m. Our highest temperature is going to be, of course, hitting 84. Some of us getting to 85 for some of our southern parishes towards Gonzales and Denham Springs. Even in our northern parishes towards Mississippi, still seeing 83 and 84. Plenty of sunshine, a few clouds out there just to add to the nice sky out there, but overall going to be staying mostly clear. Then we go into tonight. We're seeing that gradual warm-up that we see throughout the day is also going to happen throughout the evening, hitting 62 for your overnight lows and then we go into your Friday we're starting to see it is going to be a bit warmer as we hit mid 80s and it is going to be some showers getting ahead of the front now what's happening with the front is it's all about the timing what's happening on our Saturday and how it's going to be impacting you because today it's going to be pretty nice we're going to be seeing mostly clear skies Friday we start to see a little bit of some changes coming through for us you can actually see the possibility of those little bit of light showers. This is looking at 6 o'clock. A lot of it's staying more out towards our west. You can kind of see up towards the northern part of the state. Get some showers ahead of this front. You can take a look. This is looking at 5 o'clock in the morning. Pretty much just a line of storms that are going to be headed our way. The biggest threat, of course, is strong winds that are going to be coming through because if you set up all your tailgating stuff the night before, you're going to have to worry about where it's going to be as this line comes through because as we go into the afternoon, is taking a look at 9 o'clock, seeing all of that heavy rainfall getting here into Baton Rouge, going to have strong winds pushing through, continuing into the afternoon, not even out of our area just yet. We're seeing by 5 o'clock and getting closer to 6, that's when it starts to slowly clear out. So if you're making plans for uh, the LSU and Alabama game, you're going to have to worry about the rain and the storms going through the beginning of your day. But then by the time the game actually starts, we're starting to clear out the rain and we're starting to see it gradually cool down for us. We're only going to be getting into the mid-70s tomorrow because of all that cloud cover. It's not really going to warm up that much. But I think you're just going to need the, the boots is the big thing to watch for. We're, of course, looking into the tropics. We're seeing a few areas over the next couple of five days that we're going to watch develop. But right now, staying quiet for those areas, we're all just focusing on that line of storms that's coming through early on your Saturday. Incorporate the boots for that day because as these storms move through, it's going to take its time to dry out as well because we see some showers lingering into our Sunday and we see even it's going to be staying warm and a little bit on that humid side with low 80s going into next week. So the cold front's not bringing us cooler, drier air. It's more just bringing that line of storms coming through on your Saturday morning. We stay in the low 80s for the rest of the weekend and into that week. Coolest day, of course, Saturday, 75 because it's going to be cloudy, it's going to be stormy at the beginning of the day, and it's slowly going to be drying out as we go into next week.